It has been about a month since the last earnings report for Synchrony Financial NYSE Smiley Face. Shares have lost about 1.2% in that time frame. Will the recent negative trend continue leading up to its next earnings release, or is SYF due for a breakout? Before we dive into how investors and analysts have reacted as of late, let's take a quick look at the most recent earnings report in order to get a better handle on the important drivers. Synchrony Financial's earnings surpass estimates in Q1 Synchrony Financial's first quarter 2018 earnings per share of 83 cents surpassed the Zacks consensus estimate of 74 cents by 12.2%. The bottom line also improved 36% year-over-year. Results in detail, companies' net interest income increased 7% to $3.8 billion in the first quarter, primarily owing to strong loan receivables growth. However, other income was down 19.4% to $75 million, primarily due to higher loyalty program expenses, partially offset by increased interchange revenues. Loan receivables rose 6% year-over-year to $78 billion. Deposits were $57 billion, up 10% from the year-ago quarter. Purchase volume expanded 3% from the first quarter of 2017 to $30 billion. Provision for loan loss increased 4% year-over-year to $1.4 billion on credit normalization. Total other expenses increased 8.8% to $988 million, primarily due to business growth and marketing expenses. Sales platforms update or tail card interest and fees on loans grew 7% year-over-year, primarily driven by loan receivables growth. Loan receivables grew 5% on broad-based across partner programs. Purchase volume and average active account rose 2% each. Payment solutions interest and fees on loans rose 9% year-over-year year on the back of period and loan receivables growth of 8%. Loan receivables growth was led by home furnishings and automotive. Purchase volume growth was 7%, adjusted to exclude the impact of the H.H. Gregg bankruptcy, and a 5% rise in average active account. Care credit interest and fees on loans increased 8% year-over-year, attributable to period and loan receivables growth of 8%. Loan receivables growth was enhanced by dental and veterinary. While purchase volume registered 8% growth, average active account reported 7% rise. Financial position total assets as of March 31, 2018 were $95.6 billion, up 7.3% year-over-year. Total borrowings as of March 31, 2018 were $21 billion, up 4.1% year-over-year. The company's balance sheet remained strong during the quarter with total liquidity of $25 billion or 26% of total assets. Return on assets was 2.7% while return on equity was 18.2%, efficiency ratio was 30.9% compared with 30.3% in first quarter 2017, share repurchase and dividend update in the first quarter, the company paid a quarterly common stock dividend of 15 cents per share and bought back $410 million of synchrony financial common stock. How have estimates been moving since then? In the past month, investors have witnessed an upward trend in fresh estimates. There have been two revisions higher for the current quarter compared to one lower. VGM score said this time, SYF has a nice growth score of B, though it is lagging a bit on the momentum front with a C. However, the stock was allocated a grade of A on the value side, putting it in the top 20% for this investment strategy. Overall, the stock has an aggregate VGM score of A. If you aren't focused on one strategy, this score is the one you should be interested in.
based on our scores, the stock is primarily suitable for value investors while also being suitable for those looking for growth and to a lesser degree momentum. Outlook estimates have been broadly trending upward for the stock and the magnitude of these revisions looks promising. Interestingly, SYF has a Zacks rank. We expect an inline return from the stock in the next few months. Synchrony Financial SYF, Free Stock Analysis Report Original Post Zacks Investment Research